Hey guys, Andy from the Music Emporium. Come to you today with two very, very special, you might even say one of a kind, two of a kind, Santa Cruz guitars, um, both having to do with the late, great Tony Rice, certainly an inspiration to me personally and to thousands of other people out there in the acoustic guitar world. I'm not gonna even say we're excited or try to throw too many adjectives out there because really anything I could say would just trivialize what a genuine thrill it is to hold this guitar. Uh, this is Tony Rice's 2007 personal Santa Cruz instrument. Rest assured, there is a very, very nice sound demo coming. If you want to skip the rest of the chit chat and just hear what the guitar sounds like, you can scroll along the bottom of the video and get right there. It will be accompanying this portion. Many of you might already know that Tony developed a relationship with Richard Hoover at Santa Cruz uh, at the behest of his old bandmate and friend Daryl Anger uh, way back in the company's nascent days to try to develop a signature instrument that would sort of replace his old Martin D28 for touring purposes. He still played both guitars obviously and he owned many Santa Cruz's over the years but uh, this one holds sort of a, a special place in the development of the Tony Rice Pro model. This one was owned by him from 2007 to 2010. It's an incredible sounding guitar, incredible feeling guitar, responds like a dream. It's got the classic Tony Rice aesthetic, the blank fingerboard, the Dalmatian style pick guard, the long through saddle, ebony peghead veneer, and uh, it features some of the absolute most beautiful straight grain Brazilian rosewood you'll ever see, as, as I'm sure we all know Richard pulled out the stops for Tony, and this instrument is certainly no exception. One of the coolest parts about this guitar is the handwritten letter from Tony, which accompanies it. I'm gonna read real briefly how Tony described the guitar in his own words. He says, note that this guitar is unique in a number of ways. First of all, the interior label is not signed by me. Santa Cruz and I worked closely to further pursue what I am looking for in an instrument. The guitar has a custom short scale of 25 and an eighth inches, the top bracing and bridge are all built with hide glue. The top of the instrument is French polished by Kenny Hill's master builder, and the extra dense Honduran mahogany neck is finished in oil. And Tony was such a Renaissance man, interested in so many different things, as classy a writer as he was a guitar player. He closes the letter saying the following. This 2007 example sounded and felt more like an old guitar right out of the case than any Santa Cruz guitar that I've owned over the years. Termination of my ownership of this instrument by me is for reasons of yet further expansion of its design parameters. The guitar has been set up to my personal preferences. Enjoy it and please make sure that it gets played. I am respectfully yours, Tony Rice, and it's signed February 15th of 2010. In addition to Tony's personal guitar, we also have one of the 10 instruments built to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Tony working with the Santa Cruz Guitar Company. This is number five of 10. Our friend Dexter Johnson supplied all the Brazilian rosewood for these guitars. This is the kind of stuff that is just completely unobtainium. 1930s Martin style 45 grade Brazilian, not owned by Tony personally, but it was used by him when he and David Grisman toured California in support of the Tone Poems record. And uh, without further ado, we will go to the demos of these Tony Rice guitars. And if you like this video, please leave a comment, hit the like button, it really does help us. And remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot.